Have you ever wished that managing your business could be like a day at the spa? What about a harmonious yoga class? Hello everyone, my name is Joshua. Welcome to Hospitality Tools and Tips. We are entering into the world of Booking Press, a tool that promises to make managing your booking as easy as breathing during meditation. Yes, breathe in, breathe out. So that's what they promise. So you gotta stick around. By the end of this video, your booking worries may be a thing of the past. So I want to begin with giving us a demonstration of what this would look like once it's installed and set up. So here I have a fresh installation of a starter template from Astra as a spa website. I've installed and configured Booking Press. So let's load what the experience would look like if you have this configured. So here I have a booking button that let's say I click on this booking button. All right. And it takes me to the services that I have set. For this particular website, I have set up four category of services. And let's say I wanted to have a stone therapy spa treatment and two of the services are set up. I have a warm stone massage. The duration is an hour and I have the price list. Once I click on it, it now asks me, do you want to take advantage of some extra service? This is a great way of adding additional revenue for your business. So if you had some sort of add-on service, you can then configure that. So if I select that add-on service, and let's say I want to book for me and my wife that might be going to this spa treatment, I can say, you know what? I want two of the extra aromatherapy enhancement, and I am booking for two persons. And I click continue. I have the option of choosing a specific staff member. So I can select a particular name. From here, I can choose the date that I want to set the appointment for. Let's say I wanted to do Friday the 21st. And once I choose the date, it will give me an option of selecting the slot time. All of this can be configured in the back end. So these sessions are an hour apart. And if you notice, I also can set things like buffer time between each session. Once I've done so, I can enter the name for the booking. So I've entered my details. If I wanted to add in additional notes, I could select it here and just click next. At this stage, I have all of the details shown to me. Now, let's say you're offering some sort of special and you like to offer, let's say a 10% discount. So I've set a coupon code and I have a coupon called Relax10. And this coupon is to give a 10% discount once I apply it. I will notice I have the discount applied and the discount is now showing and I can now choose book appointment and that's it. My appointment is now set. I would also get a notification via my email of this appointment. Let's look at how it would look in the back end. Here am I in the back end. I'm under booking press dashboard and if I scroll down, I can see the upcoming appointments at the glance and here is the appointment that I had set. If I click on it, I will see the details of all the appointment, my email address. I can see that currently the status is pending. Now I didn't configure an automatic payment method, but I could have done so. I've just chosen to pay on site. So once I arrive, I can now set this as paid. So let me walk you through some of the key features that stood out to me. When I'm looking at the booking plugin, there's some key things I'm looking for. One of the first thing that was important for me is the appointment reminders. We want to be able to reduce the amount of no-shows, late arrivals, and so on. So what are the options available to me for me to send a notification or a reminder for when is my appointment? So there's a few ways that Booking Press addresses this. So firstly, you'll see there's an option here in the menu for notifications. Here, there are several default ways of setting notification for on approval, on pending, if it's rejected. There's also an option for you to set an appointment reminder that you can send an email when the person's appointment is drawing near. There's also different types of notification that you can set. Some of them are add-on feature that actually comes included with your paid solution for booking press. To set some of the notification settings, we can click on the more options and come to settings. And on the left pane, you can click on notifications. And here you can set the email delivery method. You can choose either PHP mail, your WordPress default. You can set up an SMTP method, which I did for this particular installation 
or you can use Google or Gmail. But what if you wanted to send an SMS or maybe a WhatsApp notification or something like that? You can do that as well. And there's an option for you to use one of those add-on. And again, it comes included with your paid subscription. So if I come to the menu options and come down to add-ons and I scroll down and you will see there's a lot of add-ons and I'll, I will touch some of these as I go through the video. Here are two notification options you have available to you. You can set an SMS notification and you can do a WhatsApp notification as well. You also have the option of using Zapier integration, which then unpacks way more options for you to use triggers and integrate with other solutions that might not be listed here. The second thing that's important for me when I'm reviewing an appointment booking plugin or appointment booking software in general, is its ability to manage my staff. How do I manage all of my workers and the masseuse or person that's going to be doing my yoga classes? How do you manage that? Booking Press has that covered. By default, this may not be activated when you install this for the first time. However, if you come to the additional modules, and this is in the add-on section, you will see the option here for you to turn on staff member. When you do so, you'll get this menu option to the top here that says staff members. Let's click on staff members. So I have a list of staff members here and I have them assigned to different services. And the same person could do different services as well. And you can set up. Adding a new staff member is very straightforward. You click on the add new button. By entering a staff member, you'll actually be creating a WordPress user. So you'll choose create new, enter a password that you would like for the staff member, choose a first name, a last name, choose an email address. You would enter a telephone number for the staff member. And if you want to have any particular notes, you can then have that there. The next option available to you is for you to assign a particular service that that staff member will be handling. So if we choose add new, I have the option of selecting the particular services that's being offered. Let's assume that it's a luxury spa experience service, and I can choose the capacity that they will be handling. And let's assume that it's only two per day because um, this particular service is set as a four hour um, service. So let's say it's just one and the price is set for that service already and I click save. So there you go. I have the service added and I will click save. Once I click save, that will be added to the list. I could also use this filter to the top and type in the name, choose apply and I will see the name listed here. I could also go back and edit the service. I can choose the shift management for this particular service. So even the business has a particular opening hours, I could then say here, this particular staff works on a specific shift. Maybe they are part-time. Maybe they're not necessarily working for the entire day. Maybe they work half day on certain days. And I could then say, you know what, on Mondays, um, this person comes in at nine, but they actually finish earlier. Maybe they just work mornings on Mondays. And what about, let's say on Tuesday, let's say they, they work up to three o'clock. I can set all of that. Do they have certain special days, maybe certain holidays that, that is specific to this staff? You can set that right here. Click save. And then that will be specific to that particular staff. But if you want to set the general staff time for everyone, you can do that in the settings. So if you go to more, choose settings, and you have the option here to set the working hours, and this will be applicable to the entire business and all staff by default will work with these particular working hours, unless you would like to set a custom shift like we just did. You also have the option of setting particular settings for the staff members. What if you want the staff members to be able to manage their own appointments? Then you could turn on that feature or you would like them to be able to view their customers or manage their customers or not. You could turn on the feature, turn it off here right within the staff members settings. The next feature I look for in a booking appointment software is the ability for you to manage your customers. And you can do that by default. There's a customer's tab. You're able to see their contact information and you can see how much appointments they've had. All the details relevant to each customer, you're able to see right within this window. 
and you can edit any of the information. You could also export the information as you see fit. What about reviewing your appointments? So your customers are already booked. You would like to check your appointments at a glance. If you click on the appointments tab, you will see a list of all your upcoming appointments. You have the option of filtering it by date. So let's say you want to see appointments for the entire month of July. You can choose the date and choose apply. So in this window now, I can decide how to treat the appointment that has been booked. So the person has made the appointment, you've got the notification. You can then decide after reviewing the appointment, do you want to approve the appointment? Maybe you want to follow up with them. Maybe they request something specific and you want to get some more information. You can then choose it as complete or so on. Now, this is different from taking your payments. So if someone is using a manual payment method and not one of the automatic payment method, then you would come to payments and you have the option of choosing a manual payment. You can then just simply say um, this person has paid or it is a partial payment as well. But what if you want to set an automatic payment method? Then you can do so. If you go to settings, come down to the payment settings on the left and you can notice by default, you can you have the on-site payment, but then you can choose PayPal and set your PayPal settings so you can take automatic payment via PayPal. But there's a lot of other payment gateways that you can select from the add-ons. So if you go to add-ons, scroll down and you will see and you will see some of the most popular payment methods are listed right here from WooCommerce to Stripe, Molly to Checkout, you name it. And most likely you will have an available payment method that will be able to fit somewhere in your part of the world where you are managing this. The next thing I look for is the ability to get some reports and analytics. And they do have some basic reports that comes built into the software. If we go to reports, we'll notice that you have at least three reports that comes built in. You have an appointment report. You can see a revenue report that is showing your revenue that you've earned over the period of time. You could also set it by payment method, as well as you will be able to get a customer report that is setting, showing certain customers that you have um, set in the system. All right, let me go back to the dashboard. All right, so this is just an overview of this plugin. And I must say, it checks a lot of the boxes. From you having a calendar screen where you can see your bookings at a glance, you can see all the relevant bookings in your calendar. You can choose by staff members. You could also add an appointment manually yourself right from this option. You have your payments, you have your customers, your services, your staff members. And I mentioned earlier when I was setting the demonstration that you could set your coupons as well. Do you have a particular special that you want to offer? Then you can come in here and create a particular coupon and set that option as well. So what's the cost of this plugin? Let's take a look on the website and see what will this cost you and how you can get it. So how much will this plugin cost you? There's going to be a link left in the description. This is an affiliate link but it's not going to cost you anything more. This is just to help me as I continue to make content like this. This is not a sponsored video. This is just my honest opinion of the plugin. So if you come to the website, you will notice that the plugin normally retails for $99, but you can get this plugin for as low as $69 and all the premium add-ons come included for that one standard course. So over 35 different add-ons, 17, payment gateways, everything I think that you will probably need in a book and plugin really comes included here. And there is a roadmap for new features that are coming. Again, I'll leave a link in the description so you can see some additional things that is already being planned in the plugin. All right, so there we have it. So that was my overview of the Booking Press Appointment Booking plugin. What do you think? Does it check the boxes for you? I really think there's a lot of potential there and it keeps growing. I love their roadmap. They're doing a lot of great things there. If there's something else you'd like to see in this plugin, you can just go to the roadmap link. I'll leave it in the description and you can leave your comments as well. So if you haven't already liked this video, what are you waiting on? Click that like button, click subscribe and click that notification bell. So when I post more videos like this, you'll be notified. I'll see you in the next one.